All right, we are live here at uh, live at Daylight Donuts in uh, New Hartford. And Jeff, I have to tell you, you got to take whatever you have. You got to not feed back to me. Mm, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? All right, that's a little bit better. Uh, Senator Joe Griffo in here, and we're in here with a little uh, thing that we call it's Joe time. Uh, Senator Joe Griffo, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's quite impressive. Got a lot of people in the place this morning here at uh, Daylight Donuts, and uh, thanks for being here, Bill, for uh, bringing the Keeler Show uh, here this morning. So you do this because you want to have people um, come out, ask questions, grill you, make you feel uncomfortable. Um, no, but it, it's a nice communication between uh, you and the and the constituents. Throughout uh, my time in public service, we've always tried to look at different ways to engage and encourage people to get involved and interact with us. Not that that's a problem, because yeah. with the, all the means and modes of communication, people can find us and normally uh, do get a hold of us. But uh, this was something we started, and I needed a name for it, and unfortunately... Uh, Scarborough already took morning Joe, so we came up with it's Joe time on the early morning coffee. I like and, it. And uh, it's an opportunity to come into a place because I always thought the coffee shop, when you come in, people are gathered, they're relaxed, and they're talking about all sorts of issues. Uh, and I thought this was a, a place where they feel comfortable, and therefore it's an opportunity for us to engage in a conversation with them uh, in a, uh, not in an office setting, but something sure. that is just. Uh, the environment is just a great environment, yeah. in my opinion. And, a, and, so. a, uh, and, a, and daylight donuts and a coffee shop. So I want to thank the so. Sodalos for letting us come in here today. And, Rick, Sherm, uh, Rick Sherman is, uh, is with us here this morning. Rick is the highway superintendent of the town of New Hartford. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So, uh, grill him. Go ahead. You've got him. I mean, do you need money? you got to need money here. This is the guy that <laughs> this, can get it for you. This is the guy that gives us the money. That's right. Uh, we have a very, very good uh, working relationship with, with Joe in the town of New Hartford. Uh, he's helped us with a tremendous amount of projects. Uh, he, he's always there for us. Well, thanks, Rick. And I know that you're a big advocate uh, because of Rick's uh, leadership and involvement, uh, along with Dennis Davis and others. We've been able to put more money in the Consolidated Highway Program, and that's important because that gives money to individuals like Rick to do the roads that need to be done here. So uh, thanks for your hard work because this is a tough job. What I would say to all the young people, I don't know who's listening now, because school's out for the summer, but everybody always thinks the superintendent makes that decision on a snow day. And it's true, the superintendent makes the call, but it's only dependent upon what Rick Sherman does. So if the highway, so I always tell the kids, the highway if, you superintendent. Wanna, if you want a day off from school, call the highway superintendent and tell them to keep the plows back a little longer. You yeah, know? That's, that's, a, that's a very, we have a very good working relationship with also the New Hartford Central School District and, uh, and the superintendent. Of schools, uh, we work very close together. Well, you you have a uh, you have a luxury here, um, and that is that the uh, the village of New Hartford, the town of New Hartford, the New Hartford School District, is ranked uh, in the region uh, between here and Syracuse. Out to, is ranked as one of the top school districts in the country, um, which makes for uh, property pretty well sought after. Um, yes, I do does. know that we've been in the market uh, for uh, purchasing a house ourselves. And the problem that you have in New Hartford, and I don't mean to criticize, but I'm going to say it right now, a house goes up for sale on Monday and it's sold by Tuesday. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty good problem to have. Our constituents uh, love the town of New Hartford. They love our services. Uh, we have the, the greatest roads in the wintertime. Uh, for the, we are just a just a town. When you come to the city or another township, you can see that we use different methods of, of in the winter time. Yeah, and that helps us tremendously. And we have safe roads. How about the? Uh, if I could just ask you, uh, I don't mean to steal uh, this from you, Joe, but I really wonder about the brine. Um, this brine that you guys put down yes. is it, does, that really makes a difference, right? Yes, it does. And it's preventative, basically. We're talking about it's preventative before the storm. Yeah, uh, I have experience uh, with the brine from the throughway authorities where I, I came from, mm-hmm. and I brought that tech, uh, technology here to the yeah. town of New Hartford. And is it uh, is that a, a less expensive than salt? Is it more expensive? It's I mean, less expensive than salt is. because we're diluting it with water. Got it. And then it, it goes onto the road. So when the road does freeze, it or the freezing conditions occur, you've already you already have that already, salt. Yes, that, it starts that, working immediately. That's really a, Joe. That's big. It's very big. And it, also, there are a number of companies that are uh, experimenting and developing products. I know we had one in Rome that was using molasses and everything. Uh, so I think th- those are the type of things that are going to help us. Where you cut down in the cost, 
you get a product that you can use uh, and it's uh, not harmful, hopefully, to the infrastructure. No, it's, a, it's all a very safe product. You're not using molasses, are you? No, we're not. I've never heard of that. Molasses? Yeah, that, uh, that, that's a, a, there's a, I don't know the ingredients to it, but we've worked on them, and uh, uh, that, that uh, is something that we continually examine and, and evaluate. Which is a, a natural, obviously a natural product, so it would be yeah, it's probably a, a little bit. Right, combination. They have, obviously, a patent on the product and yeah. everything. So, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's uh, from Sears in, uh, in Rome, actually. All right, very cool. Maybe molasses is the answer for New Hartford. It might slow traffic down a little yeah, bit. Yes. That could be good. Wow, look yes. at that one. Uh, <laughs> he is so sharp, yeah. isn't he? Uh, Rick Sherman. in January. <laughs> Rick, thank you so much. Thank I, you very much. I Thanks, Rick, for what you do. Thank you, Joe. I'm gonna, Andrew, how do you want to do this as we uh, uh, bring in the sheriff? Let's. Uh, we're just going to, uh, Manaski, try to fit one more in. Uh, before we break for news, which is coming up, and birthdays and all of that stuff, we are live at Daylight Donuts. It's first news with Keeler in the morning. Here's Andrew Dominio. we got to get with the sheriff quick because he's got a big day today up at the Boonville Oneida County Fair. Uh, are you showing your cows up there? No, I'm in the tractor pull today. Oh, you're in the tractor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a new tractor, don't you? I, uh, no, it's 30 years old actually, but it's, she's she's uh, she's going to do well. It's a, it's a big farm tractor. Sheriff Rob Machel yeah. is uh, is sitting in, and I got to tell you, I'm. You are first of all. It's the first time I've I've seen you in jeans and a t-shirt. It it, it is still Thank a sheriff you. t-shirt. I, I, but, I can't. Yeah. But uh, I have to say, Joe, you understand what he's living the life right now. Absolutely. He is living the life Absolutely. of a. You didn't grow up a farmer, did you? Uh, actually, I worked on a dairy farm for about six years as okay. a teenager uh, in okay. the summertime for one of my uncles, and uh, always had the farm itch. And uh, my wife and I started looking a couple years ago, found a nice little farm, and uh, we're raising beef cows. And uh, it's my, I guess, you know, everyone kids around me. It's my mental therapy. At the end of a crazy day, I go home to my cows. They're always happy to see me, yeah. and uh, they don't talk back. <laughs> and they I, don't talk back. That's right. I've yeah. always had a, a, a great amount of professional respect for the sheriff and what he does on a regular basis. But the, my personal admiration also is their sheriff for having a dream, you and Tammy and the Absolutely. family, really, and then pursuing yep. that. And it's not easy. It's not easy to uh, to be the sheriff, but let alone to become a farmer and the sheriff at the same time. It's, it's, so, I'm still waiting though to get up there. I haven't had that private tour yet. It's so. coming. It's right. coming, Senator. Absolutely. And uh, it's just a, like I said, today's a, kind of a fun day for me. And uh, I'm just uh, I love being around everybody. And uh, yeah. you know, farmers are really down to earth people. And I'm looking forward to spending a very unique day with them. So how are you name how are you naming the animals? Because you might have an idea today. You may have to use some of the public uh, personalities around yeah, here as I, a I, name I probably, for... I'll, I'll tell you their names when you get up to the farm. I really <laughs> wouldn't want to say them on the air. So, uh. <laughs> Listen, I do want to bring this up just a moment ago, yes, uh, Sheriff. We were talking about they're using molasses um, in Rome uh, as, as opposed to the salt brine that they they're, put they're down. They're not using it in Rome, but there's a Rome company it's developing the product. Yes. Um, uh, Paul says, yeah, they've been selling it for years to Albany, which is why things go so slowly in the Senate. Wow. But I'm... Wow. Wow. Pretty good, Paul. I Is he right you. for you? Uh, he's, I, I think he's on your staff. Um, I don't want to say I didn't use his name. <laughs> that was actually uh, Rocco that sent that in. Can you believe that? He didn't really send that in. But, uh, no, I just want to, again, thank the senator. I mean, uh, I know everyone tells me I'm all over, but he's all over, too. Uh, we, we encounter each other at just about every parade. Um, you know, and a perfect example of all of us working together. It doesn't matter what party we belong to. Um, we work for the people here in the community, and I think we're just blessed with all our leaders. You know, uh, you know, whether it's in the Senate, the Assembly, the County Executive, uh, you know, we just have a great team. And like I said, our, our mission is to is to help the people of our community, and we do that very well, better than anybody. All right, good stuff, uh, Sheriff. Good. Thanks so much. And uh, I'll put a video up later of my uh, my big pull here. My of my, your victory. Uh, my victory. I all hope right. so. I'll be up there late this afternoon. We got the Ag Commissioner coming tonight. Really? Uh, okay. To uh, the uh, 4-H uh, event uh, late tonight, so that'll uh, be cool. And We'll hopefully and I always think every time I walk into the Joe Griffo cow barn, there's a barn up there named after Senator Griffo. So that is so, so funny. That's, that's where I keep all the cows. So. I'd say that's so <laughs> apropos, but I don't, I don't see that. But uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, speechless right now. He's speechless. <laughs> all right, Jerry. Thank thanks you. so much. Right. Uh, good luck today, and we're live at Daylight Donuts. It's Joe time. Uh, speaking with uh, a number of various people, and it could be somebody who's an official, but you could just stop in, have a cup of coffee here at Daylight, and. 
challenge the uh, the senator. Anything you have on your mind? Yeah, really quick. I had the chance to go up and actually tour the farm, and I cannot believe how hard this man farm. works yeah. before he goes and puts on the sheriff's hat and, and does his duty as a sheriff. I mean, he's up at. I had to be up at 3:30, which was even early for me to go out and and visit. So he he's does a, a good big job guy. What he isn't telling you is uh, he's actually in the tractor pull without a tractor. <laughs> uh, he's going to be strongman pulling. contest. Yeah. Right. He's, he's got strongman. his overalls in the truck. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get up at three for Keeler, and I thought oh, not Lordy. anymore. Oh wow, <laughs> got a break. Hold on, we'll come right back. Uh, uh, Manaski will do news uh, coming up. We're live at Daylight Donuts in New Hartford. We'll speak with uh, somebody who brings a lot of people to the area every year. And I'll tell you who that is when we come right back here to Daylight Donuts in New Hartford on WYBX.